All right, everyone, Web Collector here. I wanted to ask some advice from some of the people from Crossbow forums and that, like the Arbalist Guild and that. I'm going to do the conversion with the um, Commando 2 compound crossbow, making this end for it and turning it into a recurve. But there was a couple of questions I wanted to ask before I did it. One was. I have no idea about this. Do compound crossbows act like compound bows that when it's pulled back does it suddenly let off the power if you know what I mean? So what I mean by this is would this trigger mechanism be able to hold a 150 pound prod? You know I don't know if when it's cocked back it suddenly eases off like a compound bow does. So that's question one. Um, and I don't want to test that you could you could say test it, but I don't want to hang a weight off that and then it breaks it and then the whole thing's fucked. Then you know what I mean? So would would that trigger be at a hold 150 pound prod or at least 105 pound prod? I've got a 105 pound prod just in case, so it eases off the trigger slightly. Um, what was the other thing? You know, not the trigger, but the um, the mechanism, you know. The other thing was, these prods go in these Armex crossbows. And the distance between where it's connected and the release mechanism is... Hang on, I'll just move it again. Is around about 13 inches. But what I'm going to do with this, when I put this on, that's about as I could get it a little bit closer. If I have it how I'm going to do it, it's going to be closer to 15 inches. Would this prod be able to pull back an extra 2 inches in length without breaking? Because what I could do, I've worked out here, I could probably cut off an inch, but I don't really want to tamper with this in case I do get an end one day you know I'd rather not cut off an inch but if I have to I will because to be honest I don't think I ever will get an end but um I'd rather not yeah so that's the questions could this prod be pulled back an extra two inches without breaking you know will it matter and do you think that trigger mechanism can hold a 150 pound prod you know I'm a bit naive here I don't know compound crossbows may not be anything like a compound bow so I just wanted to ask I just don't want to mess it up first so once I know these things I'll get down to drilling that out and connecting it and turning the old commando to compound crossbow into a 105 pound or 150 pound recurve um, yeah, so if you're watching this and you're part of a, a crossbow forum, can you spread this about and ask, you know, and as soon as I get some answers, I'll start doing it. And then we'll see how it performs. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you looking forward to this project. I am. It'd be nice to have that coming back again, you know, working again. Yeah, alright. So that's two questions. I'll leave the, you know, I'll, I'll leave the questions in the, uh, more info box and any other questions I have I couldn't think of any more but that's about it can that be pulled back an extra two inches will that trigger hold that amount of weight all right hope you enjoyed the video see you later